All right, calculus class, let's look at this problem from section 3.3. .3. So we got a uh, quadratic. So remember, a quadratic always will have this look. A quadratic is like a parabola. It's just the name of the function that produces uh, a, a parabola. So um, depending on the values of a, b, and c, you're going to get something that, you know, looks like that. And that's what that's what we mean when we see, see ax squared plus bx plus c. That's always going to have a parabola uh, as its graph. All right. Now we know that this thing passes through the point one seven, and we know that it has a specific derivative. All right. So I'm going to plot one seven. So let's say that that's one, and let's say seven's up there. All right. And is tangent to the line y equals six x at the origin. So there's the origin. Okay. And it's uh, tangent to that line at the origin. So let's uh, let's think about what that would mean. So if y, if, if our function looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c, all right, then its derivative dy dx is going to be, if, if, think about the power rule. This is just some number. How would I do the power rule here? Well, I would bring this 2 down and multiply it by that a. So I'd have 2a times x, and then the power would reduce by 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. x to the first, well, that's just x. All right, and then we have plus bx. Remember, when we do derivatives, we get plus bx. Um, the derivative is, uh, of bx is just the number in front of x, if it's just a number times x. So the derivative here is just b. And then c is just a constant. So again, the derivative of a constant is 0. So I could write plus zero, but remember, we don't need to write plus zero, just like we don't need to write x to the first. So 2ax plus b would be the derivative of this quadratic. Okay, and what does it say? Look at what it says here. This is really important that you understand so you can use information to help you find. Our goal is to find a, b, and c. So I need to use this point, and I need to use the fact that the tangent line is 6x at the origin. So if that's the tangent line's equation, the slope of the tangent line is the number in front of x. And remember, we get the slope of the tangent line from the derivative. So the derivative is 6 at 0, 0. So this is the derivative, dy dx. That's the derivative. So what we're being told there is 2ax plus b is equal to 6 when x is 0. So if I replace that x right there with a 0, well, this whole piece is going to be multiplied by 0. That's going to go away, and I'm left with just b is equal to 6. So I know this is 6. Okay, now I know the equation now is y equals ax squared plus, instead of bx, I'm going to replace that with 6x. All right, plus c. Now, Here's another thing that we know. We know that it's tangent at the origin. Well, that means it passes through the origin. If we're tangent at the origin, then that means the origin is a point on the graph. So that means when x is 0 here, y is also 0. All right? Remember that 0, 0 is a point. All right? x is 0, y is 0. So when I plug in 0 for x, I get out 0 for y. Well, that means 0 this part would go to 0. This part, 6 times 0 would be 0 plus c. That means c is equal to 0. So I know that that's equal to 0. All right, and now I know that my equation looks like this. y equals ax squared plus b is 6, so 6x plus c, which is 0. So I got something that looks like ax squared plus 6x. And now the last information. We haven't used this yet. When I plug in 1 for x, I get out 7 for y. So I'm going to make that y 7. I'm going to plug in 1 everywhere I see an x. And I get 7 is equal to a times 1 squared. Well, that's just a because 1 squared is 1. So 7 is equal to a plus 6 times 1 is just 6. So a plus 6 is 7. That means that a is equal to 1. So a is 1, b is 6, and c is 0. All right, so I type this all in to check 
and there I get the correct values. Now I want to show you graphically what just happened. So notice I type in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, what they tell us to originally write. I'm going to tell it to add a slider for all of these values. Now look at the information they gave us in the problem. Uh, it passes through the point 17. So let's make 17 on this graph. All right, and then at the origin, the tangent line is y equals 6x. So again, they're telling us that 0, 0 is on the graph. And our tangent line needs to be y equals 6x there. And I can see that it touches there's 0, 0. So obviously this line is going through there. And I also need to hit that point. So if I start moving around the values for a, b, and c, notice it, it makes the quadratic change. So I change the values for a, for b, and for C. Okay, so first of all, I need to make C be zero, and this thing will touch right there on that graph. Now, if I start squeezing in B, notice it moves around through that point. That looks like the parabola is just kind of sliding through there. And I want it to be tangent there and also touch right there. All right, so there's more than one way to do it. You know, there's more than one way to make it look okay, but for it to be perfect, for it to be absolutely perfect, like to hit the points in the in the way that we need it, like tangent right there, and go through that point, we have to have 1 and 6. And you can see we're closer there now. There's 1 and there's 6. And now we are tangent at that point, and we pass through that point. So that's what we're being asked to do is find what values for A and B and C that hit these two points that were given, 1 and 7, and then the origin, right, and has the property that its derivative is equal to, to uh, or its tangent line is equal to 6x there, meaning the derivative is 6 at 0 when x is 0. So that's the math to do it. You know, that's how we have to do it. We have to use all the information. But visually, that's what we just did. We, we, um, of all the different values that a b and c can take on the only ones that make it work with those two points and uh, having to have that derivative again are six for b and one for a c me and zero